Hey guys, I uh, want to make another quick video on something that I encountered here, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Any of y'all been following my videos, uh, you know that uh, I have the 4.63 valve, it's in the um, 07 Mustang GT, and there are a ton of mods to it. If you look back, um, all the mods are done are listed in the uh, description, and you can kind of take a look at it. But uh, recently, I uh, had about 850 miles on the engine and did the first break-in oil change at 460 miles. Uh, put about another 250 or so, maybe 300 miles on the new oil. And one day, just driving along about 30 miles an hour, heard a really loud noise. Car started stumbling and everything, and Long story short, I ended up with, um, it sucked a exhaust valve, and the exhaust valve snapped off uh, right at the trumpet, uh, like right, right here. And if you look at the other video, you'll see that uh, when it snapped it off at about right here, it totally mangled it, uh, poked another hole in the uh, intake exhaust, or intake uh, valve, and then, of course, ended up beating the hell out of the piston all the way through. It's a forged piston. It's the illuminator block has the um, forged piston. It's fully forged engine. So if, like I say, if you look back through the uh, other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. So decided you know, I need to get some new parts, obviously, and uh, decide to get a whole new head. But when I went down to Ford initially, I uh, wanted to pick up some, some cam followers. And we all know what the cam followers look like, these things here. Yeah, you know, they got a little hole up here for the oil. Of course, that, that rides on top of the lash adjuster. Of course, the this end here goes on the uh, the stem of the valve. You know, kind of kind of here rides here. So I decided to go ahead and get a couple of them, and so I picked them up. And the part number, as you can see here, get to focus there. That's the part number. And there's the um, the cam follower. So when I picked them up, I, I started looking at it and talking to the uh, the parts guy there at the counter, and uh, showed him you know what had happened and that type of thing. So he went back and I decided to go ahead and grab two. They're I don't know, twelve bucks a piece or something like that. And I got to looking at it and found something rather odd. So even even my broken one here, I have this one here. It snapped off and. It snapped off on the um, the actual lash adjuster side here, but as you can see, there's a there's a hole where the oil would squirt up through the um, through the lash adjuster up onto the cam lobe and keep that nice and lubricated, cool, and everything else. Well, when I picked up the new one, I started looking through it and noticed that the hole isn't there. That hole does not go all the way through. It appears to, but it doesn't. So we took another one out of a bag, and we went through about eight or ten of these things to see if this was just a fluke, and it wasn't. So this is a brand new Ford lash adjuster from the local dealer here in town. And that, again, is the part number. That does that has a major defect in it. There is absolutely no hole. You see no light. I've tried pushing liquid through it. I've tried putting a small pin through it, needle, paper clip, anything I could try to get through there. But see that one has a clear hole through it. This is the original. If you look at it there, you can clearly see the hole. But this one here does not. So the idea behind this video is to inform you to make sure that you check that before you just go slapping it on there. Otherwise, you're going to absolutely destroy your camshaft from oil starvation. It's something that I, I'm pretty detail-oriented and just looked down at it. So we went ahead and, like I said, pulled them all off the shelf and started looking through each and every one of them. So he ended up pulling them off the shelf and was going to get back with Ford and find out what the hell is going on with this because that's obviously... Uh, going to destroy motors if they, you know, they don't pay attention and just throw these things in there, and you'll end up with major issues down the road. So, just wanted to run this by you. Hopefully, it helps. Um, 
if anything on my channel has helped you, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I can sure use the help building the channel. Hopefully what I provide, you know, helps people and, and is somewhat informative. Um, I'm not an editor, so I don't do all the editing. I just record it and slap it up on the channel. So um, if you would, though, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and give me a like. I can sure use the help building the channel. So again, hope this helps, but make sure you check your... Make sure you check your parts because there's no holes in these things and it's going to absolutely destroy your camshaft and it, no matter, you know, what you do, the oil's not going to get there. So hope this helps. Till then, take care.